So this seemed like such a good idea at the time. Greetings and salutations. This is Alex. I hope you're having a great day. And I bet you can't guess who I'm going filming with today. We have arrived. I say we, I have, and look who we found. <laughs> Didn't see that one coming, did you? So let's um, let's go and investigate. And um, oh, there he is, look. What's he wearing today? Hello. <laughs> My, what? Very, very posh, Alex. <laughs> what, 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 what nice trousers you're wearing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, quite matching. Oh, yeah. slightly more. Uh, yes, and a tanned belt. Oh, I like the belt. Oh, yes. That's very nice. Just to go with the shoes, you see. Excellent. And, and blue and brown always work nicely. <laughs> so, we'll, um, we'll just say hello and uh, we'll be back in a mo. Last time I was in this church, Rick and I came filming, and um, this is Broughton Pogs, by the way. Um, we came to do some filming as part of our little series of Rick and the Vic um, exploring the churches of the Cotswolds. And there was a lovely lady here that was doing some cleaning. And we'd planned to go to this church, and there's another one in Broughton Pogs as well, I think. Um, and I had a lovely conversation with this lady, but it was very obvious that, you know, she was here, she was cleaning, and it was only, you know, fair that we didn't turn this into a film studio for the day. So, um, so we went, and that was when we went to Kencott. So the Church of St. Peter in Philkins, which is um, part of uh, Broughton Pogs. Um, I was going to read and pretend that I knew this, but here we are. Up to 1857, there'd been no church in Philkins, and on its completion, the ancient Norman church in the adjoining hamlet of Broughton Pogs, on the other side of the Broadwell Brook, and also dedicated to St. Peter, was briefly closed and the two parishes merged. However, in 1863, the two parishes separated again, and St. Peter's Broughton Pogs was reopened. Finally, in 1942, the two parishes were reunited, meaning we now have two churches in the one parish of Broughton cum Filkins. Both still very much open, and both dedicated to St. Peter, but separated by 400 yards and 700 years. And I pretended I knew all of that up there, you see. At risk of doing the same video as this man here, we, um, we have decided that we need to go to the other one. There are two churches in this village, both called St. Peter's, very imaginative, obviously. Um, so we're gonna go round and we're gonna, there is a story and I have, um, I have put a little story um, uh, on the video. I'm not sure whether it'll be before or after, but either way, we're gonna go to the other one now and we're gonna see if we can find any more info. But um, this is nice. We saw this last time 
and I think it's just a cut through. Um, where we were just around the back of the church, there's some farm buildings and cottages. Um, so I think that's just a, a cut through. But um, we're trying to find the other church, the St. Peter's of Broughton Pogs, rather than the St. Peter's of Filkins Come Broughton Pogs. Uh, and so Rick is, uh, oh, how's he doing? Let's have a look. Well, we're here at St. Peter's. Right. I'm struggling to, I've just typed in church and nothing else has pinged up in this whole area. I have to ask a local. Can we find one? We don't seem to find, there's a car, but um... <laughs> So whilst we might have the one church here, we can't find the other one. And apparently it's a matter of yards. But, but unfortunately we don't seem to be able to work out how many. Or in which direction. Let's see how he's doing. Box. Oh, yeah. Look, look, you've got... Ah! So you've got Village Hall and Paddock, Bro Broughton Pogs, St Peter's Broughton Pogs, that way. That way, yeah. But then you've got St Peter's Filkins, that way. Okay. So, there's a war memorial. You don't think it's over there, do you? No, no, I tell you what I reckon. I reckon that that is saying there. Yeah. And the other one is saying down the, the road, road and beyond. Road. I think you are on something. Let's go and have a look. <laughs> So, we went and asked a local person, somebody who happened to be foolishly out emptying his bin, and uh, we asked if uh, we had directions to, um, to the church. Apparently there were three here at one point. There was a Methodist chapel as well, which is apparently closed down. So it's just the two now. Um, well, we, yeah, church each, you know, for every house in the village. So, uh, yeah, but we're not sure if we can drive or not. So what we're going to do is we're going to leave Elvis here and we're going to go in Gwen in just a minute. Um, yeah, Rick's just gone to grab a few bits and pieces and then we're going to go down, uh, yeah, we'll see if we can at least park one van. So, uh, yeah, let's have a look. So this is apparently a public footpath. But the public footpath sign is right next to a sign that says private road. Oh, tennis court, yes. We were told by the local person that uh, he went past the tennis court. So, uh, and there's your wall look that you were saying about. I think we're in the right place here. That's not the one you were seeing, no. That's not your wall, no. Silly of me. This is a lovely spot, but I can't help but feel that we are on somebody's private drive yeah. and there is no church. Yeah. There isn't, well, is there? <laughs> there is, we... Uh, well, there is, there but, is but, but there it's, isn't. It's, yeah. It's a secret. Yeah. So the elusive second church brought the pogs. No, it's, it's not... It's not anywhere near where we are, look. There's no building here. Oh. So, we may have made a mistake. So there's actually some little steps there. And you visit the troll under the bridge. Who's that trip trapping across my bridge? Grand. I remember mine, it was wonderful. Lots of happy memories. Obviously I've got something a bit bigger now, but uh, many happy memories of the El Grand.
I forgot that and that fell over. It fell off there. There is something really nice, I think anyway, about just coming out and uh, and pottering. Let's have a little nose. So, something that I've noticed, this is actually quite dark. Um, much darker than like, the entrance portraits, some of the others that we've that we've been to. Right. Let's have a look. Oh, this is lovely. This is very old. Very different. Very, very different. Some of the... That's lovely. And um, some of the very intricate paintings on here, look. That's, that's really nice. But it is interesting because it's very very simple in its in its sort of like the furnishings and what have you in but anything that there is like the pulpit here is beautifully carved so it's not busy but everything is very very ornate and very beautiful and um, oh this is nice this is lovely Ah, now I'm guessing that this is a mechanism for the bells. Yes, for the church clock. Last struck a bell about 40 years ago. I have actually seen um, one of these working, actually being stood next to it when it, um, when it activated. It was a long time ago. Um, I think it was Newant somewhere on Newnham, Newnham on Seven. That's where it was, and it, um, it's actually fascinating to watch because you can hear every single click as it um, as it turns, um, and you've got the bells going on around you as well, and the clickety clickety click from that. It's um, yeah, it's really nice. I was wondering whether that's um, some Fra yes, some Francis. Um, Actually, I did see what I believe to be um, entrance to where the bells are. Bell t oh, it's a bell tower, isn't it? Look, here's a, a picture of it. So there is a bell tower. Um, and I think that that is here. Feeling explorey today. I know I said that I wasn't in an adventuring mood, but I have found that there is actually a belfry here, so I'm going to have to do it. Ooh. Scoop me up, yes. Call the parish council. Yes, the top bit is locked, but, but my word. Right, on the way down, camera's down. So, halfway down, and my word. Whew. Actually covered in all sorts of stuff. 
Oh. And there was actually rat excrement on the floor. But... What? what? Rat excrement. Ooh. How? How? How did you... Because I was lent literally against the wall. And I was doing that. You didn't go all the way up, did you? Well... well or did you? Pretty much most of the way. I just kept my hand as I went down. Kept my hand on the middle column. I might I haven't got any on me. No, you're, 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 you're immaculate and dapper. You know, it's just... <laughs> I can't see how that is possible. <laughs> well, the wall needed cleaning, so... <sighs> oh, I shut the door. But now, so that nobody ever knows what we did, We'll share it on YouTube. <laughs> but shh, it's a secret. So, we come to the end of another day. We didn't have our steak, which I was a bit disappointed about, actually, but... Sorry we, about that. Well, we, just, well, we just didn't fancy it, did we? Our okay. phone going, it's yeah. telling me there's work to be done. Is that me or you? That's you. Right, okay, fair enough. Well, whoever it is, I'll deal with you in a minute. But, uh, yeah, it's been a nice day. We didn't have our steak, but we did have lots of coffee. That was rather, yes. yeah, coffee, rather coffee pleasant. Really yep. And, uh, yeah, well, what can we say? We nearly fell down a belfry and... Um, yeah. So um, very um, dirty. But when we left the church, um, we'd forgotten, or we didn't know actually, that it was school pickup time. <laughs> and it's this tiny little road in this tiny little village. And uh, Rick actually got out. Um, and I presume he got out anyway, because um, about 20 minutes later, I eventually managed to get clear. Uh, There's just one after another, and I just couldn't get out. There's people behind me trying to get past. but. And Elvis is a big chap. There's nothing else you can do, is there? So, um, anyway, um, enough of our, you know, driving and parking problems. I was going somewhere with this, wasn't I? Yeah. I think I was saying that that is the end of another video. Perfect that timing. is the end of the video. Okay, I will write. Oh, I will um, go. I will answer that. I will say, see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Say bye, Rick. Bye, Rick. And uh, see you on the next one. Gosh, it's busy here. Take care for now.